This is Twit. Welcome back to The Tech Guy. Rich Demuro in today for Leo Laporte, who's on vacation. You can find me online at richontech.tv. And if you want more information about the show or anything we talk about, just go to techguylabs.com. Maria is in Corona. Maria, welcome to the show. Thank you. I have some motivational uh, messages and um, share them with me. Drive. I need them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> put them onto my phone and I don't know how I already put them on my computer but I'm like how do I transfer them to my phone okay what kind of phone and what format are these messages in okay so and what format are the messages in I don't know like is it a picture is it a audio is it video audio it's audio okay so you want to get your audio recordings onto the phone okay um There's a couple ways you can do it. I mean, I would personally, I would just throw them into like something like Google Drive and just download them to your phone that way. Um, I mean, you could email it to yourself depending on your email. You know, if your email has, uh, you know, large enough file storage. uh, Do you have a, what kind of computer do you have? I have a, a Windows 8. Okay, so if you have a Windows computer, so I mean you could use Dropbox, that's free. You can sign up for that and just put them into Dropbox in your computer. I think Dropbox might be the easiest. I would just do that. Have you heard of Dropbox? Yes. Have you used it? No. Okay, so I would... I'm not tech savvy. Okay, well, you're in the right place then. We will walk you through it. You just literally, it's you've downloaded apps before on your phone, right? Yes. Okay, so super easy. Download the Dropbox app on your computer, okay? And then you download the Dropbox app on your phone. And then whatever you drag and drop into the Dropbox app on your computer will magically appear on your phone. And once it's on your phone, you can either play it. What do you want to do with these recordings? Do you want to play them for other people or for yourself? Or how? what do you want to do with these? For myself. I want to be able to play them like when I'm in the car and I'm driving. Oh, okay. So almost like a podcast. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you can do that but too. But not a podcast. But it's not a podcast, just audio recordings. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's an easy way to do it is you can just drag and drop into Dropbox and then play them and you got it. Now, there's also um, another app you can use if you don't mind paying some money. There's an app called Walter, W-A-L-T-R, and that helps okay. you drag and drop things onto your iPhone as well. Um and that will help. So, but that's that's a paid thing. So, I think that uh, you probably want something that's not paid. But if you want, right. okay. I mean, the the, so the I can do Dropbox or is is uh, the Google Drive? If I have the Google Drive on my la- on my computer on my laptop, also I could put that. I can um, get that on my phone, also, right? Yes, exactly. So you have to download the app in both places. Okay. So otherwise, download it to my laptop. What's that? How do I download Google Drive to my laptop? Uh, just go to uh, drive.google.com or dropbox.com, and it will give you the. It will walk you through. You're gonna have to sign up. Do you have a Google account already? Yes. If you have a Google account, it'll just basically walk you through the process of downloading. Uh, with Google Drive, actually, you don't need to download anything to your to your computer. You can just use the web, and you would drag and drop the file onto the web interface, and it would put it in there. I personally think that the Dropbox solution is going to be a little bit easier for you because um, it, it's kind of like in your brain, it makes more sense. Whatever you drop into this okay. file onto Dropbox will show up on your phone in the same folder, Perfect. right? Okay. So. All right. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, the other thing, Maria, is to look up uh-huh. Walter, W-A-L-T-R. The benefit of using Walter is that you can drag and drop into, um, it will show up in your music application on your iPhone, which is kind of nice. So with Dropbox, you're going to have to you know play it through the Dropbox app. But with Walter, it will actually show up in your native music app on your iPhone. And so that's another way to do it. The other thing you can do is you can use iTunes and put the file, if it's an MP3 or something like that, you can put it into iTunes and sync it to your iPhone. So there's a lot of different options. I mean, there's a lot of ways to get music onto your phone, which is basically what you're talking about here, which is, you know, an audio file. put it in my iTunes and it'll, and it'll, uh, and then sync it to my phone. Correct. You can plug your phone into your computer and then you can sync your music to your phone, which will really be just these audio files that you're talking about. Okay. But I think Dropbox is going to be, I think Dropbox is probably the simplest, easiest way to start. 
um, for free and just see if that works for you. If it doesn't, maybe I do iTunes. And then maybe if that doesn't work, you can try Google Drive. If that doesn't work, try Walter.